Joining us now in the studio is Israeli track and field star Mayan Shachaf, who has made waves around the country with her high jumping skills. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much. So, you know, you're a seven-time Israeli champion. It's a big deal. What prevented you from going to the Olympics this year? Uh, unfortunately, I got injured <laughs> a, a month ago before the European Championship. Before the European Championship. Um, I was ready to jump there, the, to do the qualifying mark there. That was our plan all along, all this year, for that moment. And unfortunately, when we were on the um, airport, the <laughs> someone uh, ran over my leg with a baggage cart. Wow, wow. Yeah, so it wasn't fun, and it was painful. And I tried to jump even though I couldn't. And that's it, so I'm here, and my friend's over there. <laughs> I, can, uh, I mean, that must be so disappointing. How are you taking this? How are you kind of dealing with that? I know like a lot of people ask me why are you not getting angry and I'm saying like there is nothing I can do about right. it. Um, I got injured and if I got mad what would it give me? Nothing. So I'm taking it in. I was of course I was disappointed. More than, more than angry, I, I, angry I was disappointed about it. And uh, I just want to like accepted it. There is nothing more actually to do except Absolutely. for like getting ready for next year. Well now year. you can start thinking about, I mean it gives you a chance to really focus on the other people who are performing in the Olympics and kind of root for them even stronger because you're not able to be there with them I guess. So yes. speaking of that, you know, how, how should we be feeling about Israel's performance right now? You know, we've taken home two bronzes. Yes. Is, is this a big deal? Tell us about how this compares to other Olympics. Actually, it's, I think we, it's not over yet, but right. for now, I think it's one of the best Olympic Games that Israel, first of all, it's like the biggest... Uh, Delegation. Yeah, like 47 athletes and yeah. two bronze for now. And in judo, uh, we have one more fifth place and seventh place. And yesterday night, uh, Hannah Knyaziva Minenko jumped in the triple jump, fifth place in, in track and field. It's like... Amazing! There is nothing like the track and field. It's the mo the the queen of sport, yeah. and she finished in fifth place. So and it brings a lot of people. And now like people see the Olympic Games, children, and they're like, I want to go to judo, I want to go to track and field. So maybe from there, like in 20 years, someone of them will take medal as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's been such an inspiration to so many young people around this country. And I want to ask you about who we should be looking for in the future, because there are still more sports that we're going to be competing in. So before we get there, though, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the Olympics. It's a symbol of international unity, but we've seen some not-so-pleasant encounters take place so far. You know, Oleg Sasson uh, not getting his hand shaken by this Egyptian competitor. Is it common for this to happen, for Israel to have such, you know, unpleasant encounters with people? Yes. Unfortunately, yeah. yes. More of the, like, I know in badminton, Misha had a championship in uh, Doha, and they didn't want to give him an entry in, in the country because he's from Israel. So it happens. We hear it like a lot of Arab, Arab uh, countries like doing problems. But actually, I know it will be kind of surprising of saying that, but I really appreciate the, the Egyptian judoka to even go up. I know it's, it sounds like crazy, but he had a lot of pressure from journalists in his country that say, don't go up, if you go up, we don't want you here. A lot of, a lot of like negativity even. And even like he came up on, and fought. Okay, he lost, but he came out and he fought against Israel. But from the other side, if you get up, shake the hand. It's like you did half the work. You already, I wonder if he would win if he did shake his hand or not. Yeah, it's interesting to it's think like, about it, that. This is interesting, like, because now it's like, because he won or because he's from Israel. Although, obviously, it's because Orisa Son is from Israel, because he did shake other people's hand when he lost. Yeah. But uh, Ori did what he needed to do, you know, you, need, you take a ball. It doesn't matter if you win or you lose, you take a ball, shake the hands. And he didn't do it. And 
it's, it's sad a little bit because why not? You're there at the Olympic, you don't need to mix sport with politics. We have okay. a lot of it outside of that. Yeah, but that's unfortunately, I guess, the reality that we're seeing is that people are not able to distinguish these two things. But moving on to a happier topic, you know, we still have a lot to look forward to this Olympics. Which is the rally athlete should we now be looking out for? I think in the wrestling, we have uh, Ilana Kartish. She's in the few, next few days. She's supposed to go fight. I think if she will have a good day, she actually can take a medal. Uh, we have a lot of young people not, that yet to come, like we have the uh, rhythmic gymnastic now. I love and the of, Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Of course, Neta Rifkin and, and the group, the gymnastic group that are coming up, they won s so many World Cups and European Cups, third place, first, first place, like they're crazy, they're crazy good and there's someone to look for. I think they have a good chance to bring one more medal for Israel and even a higher place than bronze. Yeah, well, we're just going to have to look forward and yes. see if there's a silver or a gold in our near future. Thank you so much for coming in Thank and you. good luck for the next Olympics. Yes. Hopefully you'll make it then. Four more years. <laughs> Four more years. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.